ask any true collector about finishing their collection and you'll get the same answer. It's a work in progress. That's why the brand new Bryan Museum in Galveston, Texas will never be completely finished. Founder J.P. Bryan will always find something new to share with the public. Each room has two or three things that are incredibly unique or very, very distinctive. In some instances, it's the only known example of that particular item. JP has spent his lifetime gathering up art and artifacts from one of our country's most iconic endeavors, westward expansion. What's remarkable is the history that we're telling, the story. The accomplishments that occurred on the western part of the United States for 400 years, they just didn't change Texas or just didn't change this part of the part of the United States. They changed, these events changed the world. On behalf of myself and our staff, I want to welcome each of you today to the Bryan Museum. From Native American tribes to Spanish settlers to the cowboy, all their stories played out over a vast expanse we now call home. And each piece in this museum reveals a piece of that history. I love the colonial saddle that belonged to first a, a Spanish elite, and then it belonged to the dictator of Mexico, and then Alvaro Obregón, who was a revolutionary general. And just that saddle there is, you know, 300 years worth of history. Museum director Jamie Christie can tell you about centuries of history you're looking at behind the glass, but that's only half the story. The Bryan Museum prides itself on its library full of original, historic documents. These are the actual pages written by people who shape the future, and it's Jamie who gets to read them first. This is a letter from Robert E. Lee from the National Palace in Mexico City in 1847. But he writes about what he sees in Mexico City. It's a historian's dream. I get to transcribe pieces like this every day. Well, there aren't many Texans who have enough rare artifacts to open their own museum, but JP's famous ancestors did give him a head start. Stephen F. Austin um, would be the best recognized name, um, but he didn't have children, so the direct correlation or connection is through his father, Moses Austin, who would be you know, a grandfather several times removed. But JP inherited more than just precious heirlooms from great, great, great granddaddy, Moses Austin. He got a love of history that's on full display at this museum. And JP Bryan hopes that when others see it, they too will want to make their mark on the world. I think that the early history that was forged in the western part of the United States, more than anything, is, is about heroes about a whole collection of heroes. Men, women of all races, all colors. I mean, their conduct was unusual, it was exceptional. I want people to be inspired by it. You don't have to change a lot of lives. You could just change one life, and it could change the world. 